most talented runners of all time. But their current lifestyle best exemplifies the sad riches to rag story that is now becoming common among certain former athletes. Ketian's Masikandia now reports on the former star athletes who now lead destitute lifestyles. He walks almost unrecognizable. Deep in the heart of El Marakwet, Kobil village, we meet former world junior 5,000 meter runner Anthony Kiprono. Hey, I'm from Bosnia. I've been traveling to 32 countries worldwide and I'm a coach also. The load he carries today, he says, is one he wishes could be taken away from him. Me, I ate, I ate 500 million. No, 500,000. I ate 500,000. US dollars? No, Kenya money. Then my wife is with the Lord those money after that. Then how, 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 comes, how, how, how am I going to do back? To, to rejuvenate all those things to be in a position, then it was just a big problem. He is a single man having separated from his wife 10 years ago. The once glittery trophies now rusty, used for other purposes, pride being the last of it, a glorious past. Then in 1993, I was in Spain. I traveled there with, Will, with William C.K., with Paul Tergat. Then I was number five also. Anyway. Anthony Kiprono was nicknamed Puma, his then favorite sporting gear, at 41, pegged down by misfortunes. It is more difficult to do the once daily dose of exercise. Cross country was his expertise. What's left of it seen now only either through the rusty medals or the worn out newspaper cutouts. I was drinking beer. In fact, even I have a race. The quiet to your look village in Wasingeshu County is home to one outspoken star, gold medalist Samuel Kiprop Chepcock. Oh, everybody, I'm buying beers. I sometimes even stand and deal the kids beyond me. He grants us an interview outside his mad world house, telling us his fame came early in life with over 3.5 million at the height of his career. I have a lot of regrets. Those, those, if I invest well, I would have been still having something. Chep Cook admits he's addicted to alcohol, that which made him fade. His love for money and women saw him acquire the name Digger. I was called a dick. You know, I normally love, uh, love women and drinks. The father of seven, like Anthony Kiprono, wants to go back to the tracks, this time round hopefully with lessons learned, and it is clear that a lot more training and exercise is needed, running with the likes of Paul Tergat and Gabriel Selassie then. Chepcock knows too well how he wasted this resource. <laughs> Charles Kumbai has more than enough to show of his representation of Kenya at the World Cross Country Championships that won him lucrative races abroad again wasted away he hopes that his 13 year old son will take over but not necessarily follow his footsteps hopefully invest in the monetary rewards that comes with the talent learn lessons from himself and others like 3000 steeple chaser raymond yator it is a sad state back in the villages when our stars that once shone so bright deem at the height of their careers. Whose responsibility is it? Is it the government's responsibility or is it the responsibility of the society to keep our stars in check so that their stars continue glowing? That. Former renowned athlete Moses Tanui believes it's the responsibility of both the government and Athletics Kenya to keep its athletes on check. Having reached the top of his career, travel the world, Moses, now retired, plays golf and does business. He trained Anthony Kiprono, saying that most of the athletes do not want to listen when they are at the peak. Many lack self-discipline. And I want to tell also those athletes that they should also learn to ask, to ask their seniors or to ask um, from Athletic Kenya. Mm -hmm. Busa. Mm -hmm. The sad picture of the lifestyles that some Kenyan world-beating athletes now lead after they won millions from lucrative competitions, from grass to grass, then grace to grass. 
a lesson hopefully for the future and current crop of athletes in the country. Masi Kandiye KTN, Kobil Village, Elgeo Marakwet County.